Welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. Our focus this morning has been on entrepreneurship. Most simply defined, an entrepreneur is a person who identifies a need and starts a business to fill that void. My next guest is a junior in the College of Business Administration at Marquette University, and he is the founder of the Poise Movement, Mr. Austin Mutri. How are you, Austin? How are you doing? Thank you. I'm glad to have you here, Thank and you. I'm looking forward to finding out more about you. So if you would start off giving us a little more about your background, uh, where did you go to high school and all For those sure. things? I grew up in the city of Milwaukee, um, born and raised. I went to Dominican High School in Whitefish Bay, mm -hmm. and I started off at the University of Dubuque in Iowa, played basketball down there, didn't really like it, it wasn't a good fit, so transferred down to Marquette my sophomore year, and I'm a uh, marketing major right now at Marquette University. Okay, so you are majoring in marketing. Yes, ma'am. And then happened to have your own business while <laughs> you're still in college. Perfect fit there. So uh, when did you decide you wanted to uh, be a marketing major? For sure. Um, I Coming out of uh, high school, I really just, I wanted to do something in business, but I didn't really know what I wanted to get into. Mm -hmm. um, my freshman year in Dubuque, I still didn't really have a clue. I just was taking all the basic business classes. And then when I really got to Marquette, I really thought about it and I just, really had a good time with marketing just because it wasn't as hard. It, it was stuff, it was good talking to people. I could talk to people and it was just more engaging instead of other things. So yeah. I really enjoyed that. Uh, and you think it wasn't hard, but really what <laughs> it is is that it's something that you relate to. It's mm -hmm. something that you enjoyed. So then For it sure. comes natural. For and sure. that's what's important when someone's your age is finding uh, that niche and understanding what you're good at For and sure. making a living out of it. You For know, sure. I always got report cards that said talks too much in class. <laughs> Guess who gets paid to talk now? <laughs> so that really is uh, sure. what it's about. So as I Stated, you created the Poise clothing line, and there are a huge number of people who are supporting you and wearing your gear that you have Definitely. on right now. <laughs> so, uh, how did you come up with this movement? So For to sure. Um, so, about a, uh, last summer, I kind of had an idea. I always wanted to do something clothes. I really love fashion, and I would just ask people around to try to get some information about hey, if I did something like this, would you support it? It's just some positive. I was getting pretty good feedback. Mm -hmm. So, I would always make an excuse about, yeah, I didn't have enough time and things like that, but last summer, I finally just decided to do it and stop making excuses. So <laughs> I really I did it just to kind of get people involved with staying positive and to remind people to be mindful about having a positive mindset throughout whatever they're going through. So mm -hmm. I really just wanted to create something that wasn't limited to a certain amount of people. It's a universal movement. Anybody can support it, things like that. I so, love it. So POIS stands for Positive Outlook is yeah, Everything. everything. Yes, okay, so you really gave that some thought, and mm -hmm. uh, how are people responding to that? They, I mean, so far they love it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really had that many complaints. Like I said, it's a universal message, so I mean, it's kind of a thing where you don't really have too many people that don't like it just because it is going to affect your life in some type of way. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so. And you are a young person, so uh, obviously, so you're in college and you see a lot of different things uh, happening on a college campus. Right. We've had conversations about, uh, you know, gun control mm -hmm. and also there are uh, race issues that some college right. campuses deal with and so to be a student on a campus and create something like this uh, there's no way people can have a problem with no, it. Yeah, right? for sure. I mean it, I feel like it's better for it to come from somebody in my position because I'm seeing it every day mm -hmm. I'm seeing it on college campus it's a lot of things going on and I just feel like it's something that people can really lean on throughout these tough times. Yeah, so we all heard the term poor college student. I was once a poor <laughs> college student too. Uh, not saying that you're poor, but no, yeah, my sure. whole thing is with that concept is mm -hmm. how does someone who is in school uh, really get something like this off the ground? For sure, it's definitely hard. Um, <laughs> you kind of just have to take a leap of faith and go for it. Mm -hmm. um, I know finances was a big thing about starting it. Uh, that was a real big challenge, but I kind of just had to, If I, my, I talked to my mom and she was like, if you really want to do it, you kind of just have to go with it and she helped me a little bit and I just put some of my savings into it and it so far it's worked out so I'm, I'm happy I took that leap of faith. Yes, I'm happy you did too. Now what items do you offer? I sell um, sweatshirts, long sleeves, t-shirts and um, sweatpants. So it's and a you lot have of, hats too, yeah, right? And yeah, hats. yeah. Yes ma'am. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different things. Um, and sometimes I, I tell people I don't really do it for the, the clothes necessarily. It's more about the message mm -hmm. to try to get it out. So that's why sometimes I forget what I, <laughs> I said just because it's, it isn't my, my big purpose. It's really about 
changing people's lives and having them really think about being positive and always have that positive mindset throughout their daily lives. So. I love it. So you're not just really like selling your stuff out of your trunk no. and you know on campus. No. You are actually shipping things out. I yes, read you're shipping to Tennessee and yes, Mississippi and California, yes, Florida. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing yes, because it really gives you an idea of really just how far you can take this thing, yes, right? Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's, it's really shown how many people support it just mm -hmm. from all across the world that it really is a universal message and I mean it's crazy to think that when people are dealing with tough times they always think about yeah it's just me going through that but when I get people from all across the world I really see that it isn't just a personal problem everybody's going through something in their life it's where true. they need a positive outlook so I just feel like it was really big that I had support from so many different places mm -hmm. around the world so. and uh, I'm just glad we're able to have you here today and hopefully help spread the message that <laughs> you're doing something sure. so positive and that if people would like to support mm -hmm. uh, this positive effort then we certainly encourage them to do that uh, it's not easy to establish a brand uh, because you know these days everybody has their own record yeah. label everybody's <laughs> got a clothing line what have you For but sure. uh, you have to have a marketing mind and really know how to get in front of things uh, present your product what are sure. some of the things you've been doing I mean I've kind of just been getting across social media trying to spread the word and um, a big thing and a big staple of part of my brand is that I've created scholarships mm -hmm. so these scholarships people kind of at first thought yeah you're doing this clothing line you're just taking all the money, it's for you, you're keeping this. <laughs> so I try to tell people that I'm actually putting it towards the community. And right now, I actually just gave away the um, 2008 Poise Scholarship, Black College Tour Scholarship. So I partnered with the uh, YMCA Black Achievers program, and I gave away a scholarship this year for their upcoming Black College Tour. So, so for 2018, you just yes, gave away a scholarship. Yes, ma'am. And I find that amazing and extraordinary because you're in college. <laughs> <laughs> And, and it really says sure. a lot that you're willing to help other people. Sure. Uh, so is this open to just college students or is this a scholarship? You said black achievers, so black high achievers. school students. Yeah, so it was, it was high school students. It was freshmen through juniors. So okay. I, would, I actually just announced the winner two days ago. That's so awesome. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Bryson Patrick, who was actually the winner <laughs> of the 2008 um, Poise Black College Tour Scholarship. That's so, awesome. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> and, I mean, it just really says a lot about who you are. And like you said, uh, it makes people realize that, hey, I can support this mm -hmm. because it's also helping out a great cause. For so sure. here's the thing. You've got a number of successful people who mm -hmm. have uh, come out with their own clothing lines. you got Diddy who had Sean John, uh, Jay-Z, and then um, Damon John, who's best known for his role on Shark Tank, but you're probably too young to remember. But, uh, <laughs> he had FUBU. Yes, and uh, it's such an encouraging story when you listen to uh, him tell the fact that he he uh, mortgaged his house for a hundred thousand dollars turned half of it into a warehouse or mm -hmm. factory and the other half was his living quarters but then went on to be uh, one of the most successful sportswear companies of all time so I'm interested in knowing who are some of the role models that have uh, been in your life along the way for sure I would first just say my parents just mm -hmm. because they've shown me that if I put my mind to it, I can really do anything and even if it's something that I feel like I can't do and I can't do it by myself, they're always going to be behind me to support me. So I feel like those are my two biggest role models just yes. to start off. And I would just say people in my family, um, people showing me that young, successful black people can do successful things, mm -hmm. and not just in this city, but in this world. So I would say them. And then I would just say a lot of athletes who are really focused on trying to make their, 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 their name bigger than just being an athlete. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people get put into a box just because they do a certain thing, but I was taught that you don't want to be one dimensional. You want to have different parts about you. So I just feel like I people who are doing multiple things and have their hands in multiple mm -hmm. um, ventures are really my big role models. That's right. Figuring mm -hmm. out all the things that you're good at right. and making it happen. Right? <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> so uh, you did play ball, like you said, at yes, Whitefish Bay. Yes, ma'am. Whitefish Bay, Dominican. Okay, yes, sorry. Mm -hmm. Whitefish Bay, Dominican. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, you also played ball at the University of Dubuque in okay. Iowa, my first year and, and then so, now yeah now I'm a manager for the Marquette men's basketball team see I love that That's so uh, what are some of the things that you do with the basketball team I mean better? right now I help the players with anything they need so um, it's just daily things with the coaches and players I work out players um, do stuff with pra in practice with the team just because I can still play basketball <laughs> you said I still got game <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, honestly, I just try to help them out whatever, mm -hmm. w with whatever they need and try to be a voice to some of the players who sometimes they might not want to hear certain voices and just give them another voice to hear from. So. That is amazing, and uh, there are a lot of young men. I'll go into school sometimes and ask young people, what do you want to do when you grow up, so to speak, and I hear a lot of the young kids, uh, boys, I should say, who mm -hmm. say, I want to be an NBA player. I want to be in the NFL, and it's hard to you know, say, not everybody is going to get that opportunity, but it's sure. important to encourage kids uh, to do everything they set their minds to, but also to have a plan B yeah. and to make education a priority. What advice sure. would you have? I would just say nobody's stuck to one thing. So when you're growing up, you might be good at one sport, you might be good at something, but things are likely to change. Mm -hmm. And you have to always have a, a plan B, like you said, because you don't know what could happen at any moment. And I feel like just getting an education and being able to get a degree is a the most important thing just yep. because it gives you so many different avenues to go go to once you once you're done with that certain hobby or thing you have to do. So I just feel like getting an education and staying true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Just because you have a lot of people who with whatever with whatever you're doing they're gonna say you can't do it. And you just have to stay positive and really show them that you can do it. And I mean it's gonna be people out there who are saying that you can't do certain things, but I mean if you think it then who can really stop you? That's the truth. You know, the journey of a thousand miles starts with one single step. And once you have that confidence to, you know, take the step, like you said, stop procrastinating sure. and take just leave of faith. That's right. <laughs> make it happen. Uh, I'm interested in knowing what is your five year plan? Uh, you no, know, sure. because, you know, you, you right now you're in college and soon you'll have your degree. Mm -hmm. What would you like to see yourself doing? For sure. Well, right now I plan to graduate um, next spring, mm -hmm. 2019. Um, and then I want to. I actually go to graduate school. Um, right now I'm looking at Howard University. I kind of want to go there um, and get, I, I really want to get to coaching. So I want to kind of be a, a graduate assistant on somebody's basketball team, stuff like that. But um, if not, I'm really just trying to do things to help the city and the community. Because when you go out to different places and you see different things, people don't have the, the best view of Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I feel like it's important to just not only show people that are not in the city, but to show people in the city that Milwaukee is a great city to live in. And even though right now we might, we might not have some different things that other cities might have, we're definitely on the come up. So oh, I love definitely. that. You are such a positive, inf inspirational young man. And I speak for a lot of people when I say keep up the good work. We're sure. proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Austin Mutri is a junior at Marquette University, majoring in marketing. And he is the founder of the Poise Movement. For more information, you can visit his website at thepoisemovement.com. And that is going to do it for today's show. I'm your host, Andrea Williams, as always. Thank you for watching. And I hope you join us again next week as we take another look at our issues in Milwaukee. Have a great day.